Hey y'all, Kenya is on the move. If you haven't heard, we got some wonderful information we are excited to share with you. But check this out. Before we do, please be sure subscribe, like, share. Greetings, peace and blessings. We are the Mohammeds, the residential tourists from 85 to Africa. We are living in the after, in spite of what you heard. We are in Africa. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> living in the after, for sure, for sure, for sure. Welcome. We are grateful. We appreciate you. As always, for checking us out, tuning in, and man, look, we're pretty, we're pretty geeked right about mm -hmm. now. We're pretty amped, okay. Um, excited. Excited. Um, <laughs> and particularly being a person of color in the diaspora, black man, black woman, <laughs> wanting to be welcomed and wanting to have a place to call home if they choose to come to the continent. Um, this is exciting news for us, for those people. And one reason being, you know, we've had many countries do, many countries do um, the, the year of returns where they're welcoming black Americans or welcoming black people in the diaspora to come to the country and just see what the country has to offer. But a lot of times when they come, they're just coming to see the country. There's, there's nothing put in place to welcome the people. There's nothing put in place to make a transition easy for them. Or it doesn't even have to be easy, but at least it's a, something yeah, it put in place for the, <laughs> for the person to come and welcome you into the country. So um, we've been doing some research and we, all right, every time y'all, y'all already know, it's gonna come to me. <laughs> it's the sweetness. It's, it's every time. We love the sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't even think about you. You had only sweet like that. Unbelievable. So, <laughs> so every, um, anyway, back to that. So we were researching and we found out to this date that there's no African country that has put in place a welcoming where anyone in the black diaspora can come and is visa free for them. No African country has put that in place. To Exclusively. The black man, the black woman. Right. Now we do know that there's between eight and ten countries in, in, on the continent that made it visa free for Americans, which is great. Yeah, yeah but nothing put in place for the black American or the black Canadian, the black, um, it, from any other country, unless you had that blue passport, then you're allowed to come in visa free. So that's kind of disheartening because for a lot of us, we're thinking we're coming home. And why do we have to pay something to come, come back home? Um, and you don't think of just a visa one time. When someone's trying to move home, you're paying visas and paying for um, just to have the right to be in that country over and over and over again. And it's not for your whole family, it's per person, per person. And a lot of countries don't have it where the children is visa free. Um, some do, but not a lot. Not a, there's not a lot of countries out there. So we discovered, well, it wasn't discovered, it was actually posted up there yesterday on social media that there was a conference called Black Voices, I believe, where it's more of a social media influencer type of conference that mm -hmm. happened in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And the, waiting for the motorcycles to go, the motos. And um, 
this particular president has been fighting for unification of East Africa in general. Africa. Africa in general, what? and particularly East Africa. We, he's been fighting for single currency. He's been fighting for de-dollarization, leaving the using the currency of the country and not the U.S. dollar as the major uh, trading source. So he's a champion right now going on in, on the continent, period, but definitely in East Africa. And this particular stance that he has taken at this conference is so exciting and amazing because I have not heard any president so far take this position. I, I mean, it's my, it's my guy. I'm going to tell you, I love this brother. Um, you know, we I think before we have, um, you know, him among other leaders, on the continent, but it seems like he's, you know, he's taking the lead, you know, um, and setting the tone and the pace, mm -hmm. right? That others are going to really going to have to catch up. This is just your brother speaking. I, I, you know, this is just from my vantage point, but he's saying all the right things, but here's the part though. Not that he's just saying all the right things. He's backing it. Yeah. He's get, putting practical application behind the words right so you know as black people sure we come from america or some of course in the diaspora come from the uk or we're all over right we're coming back as my wife said we're coming back home in our mind and in our heart so i'm like yeah make it easy for us right because it was hard when we left or at least make it welcoming I mean, there's, not, there's nothing easy that's worth obtaining, but at least make it welcoming. Make, make it, it on purpose. Okay. All right. We'll go with that. All right. So here we go. So one of the big, big things, you know, is as we were saying, is like, and not even just we as diasporas. You know, why is it that, you know, I, I if I'm on the continent, why do I have to, if I want to go from East Africa to West Africa or just a neighboring country, why I got to pay a visa? Why I had to do that? That's like me leaving from Georgia to go to Florida. Mm -hmm. But I, come on, it's right. We're on the same continent. Why is that? Right. What is what is? Why is that even necessary? So here right. he is. Should we? Did we tell him who it was? Mm -mm. We gonna tell him who it is. You tell him. Oh, it's my man, President William Ruto, right of Kenya. It, that wasn't scripted. That's not like some <laughs> corny acting. But it, was, it, really it wasn't was scripted. Not scripted. I'm like, I'm just realizing we're not even saying who <laughs> who who it is. But he's doing his thing, right? You know, and um, he's he's very vocal, and he's uh, he's posturing himself. I don't want to say posturing because actually he's positioning himself to where he's making it possible for not just Kenyans, but you know, East Africa and all of Africa can really begin to. Um, you know, forge a way for themselves, right? He's taking that lead. I'm thinking, I'm, that's how I'm looking at it. That's how I'm seeing it, right? And this is one of those ways where he has stated, you, my wife can say it better than I can, but has stated how he's going to completely visa-free, not specifically for we, us, right? Black, period. Right? That, that's important. That is. I mean... That 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 hits that hits right here, right? Because as black people from America, we are always wanting to be identified, man. We want to be recognized. We want to know that we we are welcome. We know we're welcome, but we want to know that we are welcome specifically because we family, right? Man, that, that means a lot. That really, really means a lot that it is more specific in that sense. So we're excited. But but not just because it's visa free for me, but because of his words. Mm. His words were so profound. He literally he literally recognized that the origin of mankind started in Kenya. Started right there. Scientific Facts, artifacts, evidence starting in Kenya. So he's like, so how, why would we keep charging you to come home? Mm. And we're like, 
Okay, and and not just because it started in Kenya, the whole continent. This is the mother planet. Right. Mm -hmm. So we know that this is where our DNA lies, but yet we still get charged over and over and over again just to come and stay here. And a lot of times people are coming here, they're investing in the country, they're bringing their families, they're bringing their dollars, they're working, their children are here. We're already, and if you're in the country, you gotta pay the country taxes. All those things still happen, but yet you still have to pay for visas. And it's it's kind of not fair. Right. It's not fair. Right. So for him to actually take that stance and recognize, nah, this is not justice for you. We want you to come. We want you to bring your expertise and your brilliance back home. We want you to help build Kenya up. Mm -hmm. And why are we going to charge you to do that? Mm. Man, it was so brilliant the way he said it. I was like, whoa, did you, you know, see this? Yeah, it's, it's, it is brilliant. Yeah. It's why, and on, on top of that, or in addition to that, because of the, 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 the conference, it was identifying the voices of black people. And those voices are YouTubers. Okay. And, you know, in times past, in our dialogue and discussion, we've always said, well, because there are some YouTubers, shout out to Miss Trudy, you know, she represents, she's beautiful, she has great content, and you all and may she's have from seen, Kenya. She's from Kenya. And you all may have seen, you know, uh, when, you know, they kind of, you know, gave us some, 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 some challenges, right? Mm -hmm. but, the, but the beauty of it all is that, you know, he, the president, has recognized that you know, as the voices, you know, should be befriended because it is these voices that can help, mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the country and um, all of that, all of that. And so. And even like what we've done here in Rhonda as YouTubers and of course having the business here, I can't even count. I, I used to try to keep count, but I can't even count how many people have come, whether it's just for vacation, whether they live here or not because they watched our videos and watch other YouTuber videos. Exactly. YouTubers are the biggest marketing force you have here it right is. now in any country. So for the president over there to recognize that, mind you, this is a country where only a couple months ago you weren't allowed to walk around recording, that you would get in trouble for recording or taking pictures in the, in the city. You know, so now that they have relaxed a lot of those laws so that it only affects government buildings, and for him to actually take a stance and recognize, are y'all crazy? This, we need them. These are the people that's going to help bring investors into the country. That's amazing. And it's so brilliant. It's very brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Very smart. Very it's brilliant. No one that I've seen, I and mean, maybe y'all could tell this differently, right. you know, but here on the continent, we have not heard. We've heard other presidents welcome the, the diaspora in. We want you. We need you. Come in. But if you don't have certain things set up for them, Sorry. They're going to leave. It's doomed to <laughs> fail. So this is the first president that I've heard actually start to put things in place to be more attractive to bring our people back home. And it's amazing. It's amazing. It really, really is amazing. And, you know, we don't, I mean, we don't, we can't really tell you how the implementation will come about. Yeah. I'm, I'm, we I'm just heard it. folks. When's it going to happen? I think the conference was yesterday right. or it, it was just, posted yesterday. It's hot off the presses. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we, you know, we wanted to dive on it because um, we like Kenya, man. We do. We like Kenya. And, um, you know, we, we really are excited about, um, you know, just Africa, really. Yeah. We're really excited about Africa. And so. And the possibilities here. Um, even I was listening to Go Black to Africa this morning, the video he done. Shout out, Go Black. Yeah. and Respect. He, he, he did a video on really a lot of our thoughts today. Um, and this time, like, man, we want to come. We want to come home, but there's nothing put in place. It's almost like It's almost like a trick. Come home, spend your dollars, but now go back. And if you can, you, you try to come back and do it again and go back. There's people that do resets. They come, they bring everything they have, and it don't work out for them because nothing really was put in place to help or to aid or to guide or to assist. They have to go back to the States, reamp, get their monies up again, and try a different place. And um, it's frustrating, and it's very hard, and it's disheartening because it, it keeps you feeling like, man, where do we belong? Where, where can we find a place that would just work? 
and 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 don't take advantage of the little bit of resources that we have. We want to add to the country, but there's nothing put in place to try to make that possible. So here's the, but here's here's the thing though, right? Because as black people, I may have said this before. I know I've said this before. As black people, we are the spook that sat by the door, right? Those who know, know. Y'all know the classic movie, the spook who sat by the door. He was from around the way, from the hood. He went up the ladder. He was um, educated and trained. I don't even she know. Don't know. I'm like, but she saw him educating as well. I thought that was a song. No. And so he had an advantage because he got the ear mm. of what was happening, what was going on, that he could say, hey, forewarn, right, his people. Mm. Not that we trying to, but you get it, right? We have been in America, right? We have been conditioned, trained, educated, programmed, you name it, whatever it, whatever it is, right? So when we come to Africa... Man, we have the skill set. We have um, we have the knowing of how to deal with certain folk, <laughs> right? Because we've been under them for four hundred plus years. So, and usually the discipline. We have the discipline. You know, we it's a, there's a lot that we come with when we come. All we had, all we're needing is the right platform and the right outlet that we can properly express, you know, that which is innate within us and that which we have acquired as a benefit from being in America. Okay. And we want to be utilized. We want to be we utilized. We want to be a part of this major growing. Africa is on the rise, man. If Africa was never on the rise before, it's on the rise now. I don't know how to fix that saying, but keep, 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 keep rising to the top. Go on. <laughs> Kitty Burke. <laughs> so we want to be a part of that. We we've helped put the strongest country where it is for over four hundred and something years for free. For sure. So why not be able? Now we 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 try to not figure out. Okay, well, how did we get there? Who sold us into slavery and so forth? Even with that, we know. That there was t there was reasoning behind that that y'all that was pretty much out of your control. We do understand those things, but we're we're coming back home, and when we come home, we don't want to be taken advantage of. We want to be utilized. We mm -hmm. want to contribute, and we want to help right. for sure. Right. So right. for this situation right here for, to be put in place, just acknowledging that's major. Just acknowledging that, yo y'all come home, come right here. We got you. Ah, that's so exciting. That's major. That's so major. exciting. That's major. So we wanted to take this opportunity and just give you this little bit of information. Don't take it from us. We're going to actually show you where he said it at, what he said, so you can get it directly from his mouth. Um, and let us know what you think about it in general. Please let us know. And um, as always, we are grateful for you. We appreciate you. Um, and um, we thank you for your viewership, your subscription. If this is your first time, checking us out, please subscribe, like, share with a friend, and let us know what you think. If you're a long-time subscriber, please like, share with a friend, and share with us what you think. And, um, man, we're looking forward to hearing from you, hearing what it is that you may have to say. All right? Yeah, y'all know we read every comment, so let's talk. All right. Peace and blessings. As a country, we are proud that over 100 YouTubers from Nigeria, South Africa, Canada, the UK, and of course Kenya, are congregated in Nairobi, the host city of the global closing ceremony for the 2023 YouTube Black Voices Fund. All of you, welcome. Um, I know, for example, that many of you have had to get visa to come to Kenya, but uh, I have some good news for you. This may be the last time you are getting a visa to come to Kenya. Because Kenya is the cradle of humankind. This is where 
and I'm talking as a scientist here. <laughs> this is where the earliest remains of man have been traced. This is where the Turkana boy, the oldest ever traced human remains on earth. Not by magicians, but by scientists. And so, all of you, my good people from Nigeria, my, uh, my in-laws, the good people from Canada, US, and the rest of the place, UK, South Africa, when you come to Kenya, you are coming home. So, we are, we are looking at the law, we are looking at uh, building consensus as Kenyans, so that because this is home, it's not fair to ask anybody for visa when they are going home. So, <laughs> some, somebody, somebody seems to be agreeing with me there. <laughs> Thank you very much.